You can be a cheerleader, a voyeur, a retailer of import goods. None, however, should be confused with scholarship. So scholars of religion have largely tended to look upon their departmental colleagues who specialize in Islam with bewilderment and bemusement because those who are supposedly scholars of Islam in Western universities are overwhelmingly apologists for Islam as opposed to yeah. scholars. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing that you always hear is the moment that you try to contradict anything that you say, you try to use their own book, books against them or their own sayings again, not against them, but you, you try to say, well, what about this one? What about this one? Well, they in inevitably comes back at you. Well, you don't even speak Arabic, so shut up. You can't even say anything. And even someone like Khalid, Khalid can't, can't speak Arabic himself. Even he is relying upon translations and will probably be like you like we saw earlier he's ex admitted he gets even he gets bullied by the bigger muslims i guess the uh, <laughs> the arabic speaking muslims who think that they are more devout more true have them have the, the closer connection to truth than he does um but yeah i always feel like i'm talking to a party political member when i'm speaking to a muslim um, and it's so frustrating so frustrating right that's why many people have just given up on trying to have dialogue with, yeah. with muslims because that there is that frustration that you just articulate i mean how are you going to talk about things with someone who takes it as a foundational principle that every word of their religious document comes from God. I mean, how do you argue against God or critique God? It's verges on the impossible.